gamers, welcome to this E3 segment of like me going over the Nintendo press conference and giving my first impressions to you guys. Yes, I'm pretty sure you guys know that EA, Ubisoft, Microsoft, Sony had their own little press conference, but I'm just going to focus on Nintendo and hit those hard points, you know, the very key points that are important to us, well, at least to me. So I'm going to start with that and you guys don't worry about it, you know, we have on Sunday a whole episode or four episodes or a a four part episode. It's really complicated, but we're gonna have a whole full wrap up of E3 from Monday to Thursday. So I can't wait for that press conference. Started off with this Reggie guy walking into the stadium or stage or whatever, and he's talking about the statistics of Nintendo, how well they did in sales in 2009, and stuff that we really didn't care about. Well, I thought personally that they had nothing to show, just statistics and all talk. I was so wrong because they officially announced the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I don't know what to say. This is amazing. I did not expect this whatsoever. You see Miyamoto trying out, you know, the nunchucks and the Wii Motion Plus controller and seeing how it works out. I can't wait to play this game. I'm actually a fan of all the older Zelda games like the Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, you know, Twilight Princess. Wind Waker was all right. But, you know, I can't wait to get my hands on this. They just started talking about how Mario is of great importance to Nintendo since the beginning of time and they pretty much announced and released information on the Mario Sports Mix. This is going to be somewhat similar to a party game like Mario Party, so it doesn't have many aspects like that, but it doesn't have a sports theme. I think it's a pretty cool concept. Personally, I don't like it, but hey, it works. And surprisingly enough, I almost even forgot about this game. They talked about Golden Sun, and now it has like a subtitle, it's called Dark Dawn. So it's called, in total, it's Golden Sun Dark Dawn. And it shows some gameplay of the game, you know, for the DS and stuff like that. Come on guys, you know, it's been E3 2009, E3 2010. I don't want to wait another year to get a little bit more information on this. I want to play the game already. The gameplay looks fun, by the way, guys. So if you guys are any Golden Sun fans, you guys might have really want to check this out. Yeah. And I guess that Disney wanted to get involved in making more games. So they ended up calling this game Epic Mickey. Oh, no, 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 no. The concept is all right. I mean, personally, I think that game is for little kids. So they're treating it like if it's gold, like if it's Walt's stream, which it probably is. But personally, it's not my dream. I consider this game an epic fail from my point of view. Oh, do you want to hear another possibly epic fail? Well, there's a game called Kirby's Epic Yarn. Woo! Now you could go ahead and play with Kirby and make your own pants while you're playing. I thought it was all right. You know, it, it, it looks fun, but it looks like Paper Mario just with yarn. Uh, you guys feel me? You guys feel me? Probably not. And something that amazed me, I mean, it's kind of old news, but they showed some gameplay of Metroid Other M. I was quite, you know, interested in this. I've never really been interested in Metroid Other M or any other Metroid games. They did a really good job. This gameplay looks like it doesn't have a lot of replay value. And uh, the game is coming out on August 31st, so at least they're showing some gameplay before the game comes out because I would be very pissed off if this game was like one of those holiday games. No, no, no. This can't be possible. I don't know this year you guys just became like smart out of nowhere because you guys are getting all these old games and bringing it now to the week like for example donkey kong country return not the fact that they return the fact that that's the name of the game yeah i saw some gameplay on it I don't know what to say guys, it's amazing. The gameplay, it makes me want to play the old Super Nintendo games, but I don't know, ah! Ah! I can't explain this. This has to be like one of my favorite games that they have announced so far. Me and DK, ha you know, go way back. So we have like a little bond together. You know what I'm talking about? Mm, maybe not. Aside from that, that came out. It's gonna be coming out uh, during the holiday seasons. So you guys could wait for that. If you guys are any loyal fans to the franchise, you guys are definitely gonna enjoy this. So then, I guess Nintendo got bored. They're like, oh yeah, we're done talking about the past. We're gonna talk about the future. But it ends up being that they were talked about the Nintendo 3DS. I was like, because they come up with like an ad video talking about the revolution of how 3D, you know, 3D goggles and all that. Well, it ends up being that you don't need 3D goggles for the 3DS. I mean, it's like built in into our eyes, I guess. It doesn't open a lot of doors for many handheld devices like the PSP and stuff like that. This is pretty good. You could actually take 3D pictures because it has three cameras. It has two on the back and one like in the, in the when you open it. So you can actually take 3D pictures and see it 3D. Aside from that, you could actually even watch 3D movies without the need of 3D glasses. And this is something from like 2030 or something. Imagine 3D porn. And last but not least, they started talking about more information about the 3DS, and they said that there's gonna be a new game called Kid Icarus Uprising. See him flying around everywhere as a gameplay, and it's actually gonna be 3D, so I'm really looking forward to that. 
Well guys, that's all like the first impressions I could give you. You know, it's a little bit of both. It's a little bit of my first impressions, a little bit of news. Uh, unfortunately, it's not gonna be like that for E3 wrap up. You know, me and Taz and Tata are gonna both just concentrate on news. We're not gonna try to give too much opinion about it because we have a lot to concentrate and a lot to talk about. Nintendo kept everything a secret. So I guess since everything was a surprise, I was like, so that's, I guess that's what motivated me to say that Nintendo got Two kudos from me. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm pretty sure you guys know there's a lot of more news um, out there about E3, but we're, like I said before, we're gonna be covering that. So yeah, guys, this is Mikey, and this is this Nintendo first impressions review. Um, just leave me a comment. Tell me what you guys thought. You guys thought Nintendo did good, bad, mediocre? Peace.